Okay. Let us understand about the multiplication property of a rational number. Okay. So let us say you have a rational number which is in the form of p upon q. Okay. Where p upon q okay, is a rational number and let's say you multiply it by m. Okay. Now m can be anything which is a non-zero integer. Right? So p upon q is a rational number and m is a non-zero integer. Then if you multiply both the numerator, multiply both p and q by m results remains unchanged. What does this mean? So if you actually multiply p by m in the numerator and you multiply q by m in the denominator, the result, let's call it as r, will remain the same. So let us take one example for this. Let's say for example you have a fraction 7 upon 11. Or well, let's not take 7 upon 11, let's take something else. So let's take 18 upon 3. Right? Where 18 will stand for your P and 3 stands for Q. Right? Now in such a case what will happen is that let's multiply them by 7. Okay, 7 is a non-zero integer and let's call it as m. So what we understood was that if we multiply both p and q by m, the result should remain unchanged. So normally if you would have divided 18 by 3, what would you get? We know 3 into 6 is equal to 18. As you subtract this 18 from this, you will get 0. Hence, we can say that 18 upon 3 is equal to 6. Right? Let's multiply both of them by 7 and see whether our result R remains unchanged. So what do we do? We multiply 18 into 7 divided by 3 into 7. Right? 7 times 8 gives you 56. So you have a 5 carry. 7 times 1 gives you 7 plus 5 gives you 12. 3 times 7 gives you 21. Okay. So let us divide 126 by 21 and see what do we get. Now 21 does not divide 1, it does not divide 12 if you consider these two together. So we move to the right side. Now if you multiply 21 by 6, that basically is equal to 126. Once you subtract this, you get 0 as the remainder. So what do we conclude? We conclude that 126 divided by 21 is again equal to 6. Right? And this is basically what our result was when we had divided 18 by 3. So hence we conclude that for any rational number p upon q, when we multiply both p and q, by any non-zero integer m, the results remain unchanged. Okay?